to be overly blunt, but I am going to take that opportunity this evening. Uh, we cannot afford not to renovate our high school at this time. Our community cannot afford to do this. And let me be very, very clear. Uh, we have a responsibility to our students. The open classroom does not work. We have overcrowding. We have a responsibility, first of all, to our students. If we do not accept that responsibility, we will lose our accreditation. I think that's been made very, very clear. And I think our educators will expound on that in the coming months. Secondarily, there is a new way of reimbursing high schools in the Commonwealth. And this was uh, started by the legislature approximately three years ago. It's a good thing. It takes out most of the politics. Not all of it, but it takes out most of the politics. It has been an approximately uh, three to four year process for us to become eligible to move this project forward. I can guarantee you that it will be a decade before we will have another opportunity to do so. A decade conservatively before we will have the opportunity to do so. Um, again, I want to be very blunt. Um, the impact on our community of not doing this, not moving forward on this project, will be extraordinary. It will affect our property values, and it will also affect the opportunity to bring business to our community. So I do not want to mince words tonight. Um, it has been a three-year project that has cost a great deal of money to get us to this point. The amount of people that have been involved, the volunteers that have been involved, um, it would be irresponsible for us at this point in time to pass up this opportunity. It will not come around for at least a decade, perhaps more. So it, please pardon my bluntness. Um, I don't have many opportunities um, to be as blunt as I am this evening, but I don't want to mince any words. We need, we need to move forward with this project. It's our responsibility to do so. We will not have another opportunity to do so for quite a long time, and I want to thank the building committee, uh, the volunteers, um, environmental specialists, architectural specialists, uh, financial specialists, and also the school building authority. And Catherine Craven, if she's able to be here this evening, um, a great deal of money went into the studies to get us to this point, which will be reimbursed by the state. And I will not steal Mayor Manzi's thunder, because it is thunder tonight about the reimbursement rate. Um, but there's also reimbursement for all of the architectural, financial, environmental studies that have gone on prior to this point. And it has been a three to four year process. So I thank you for your time um, and I ask that you pass the word throughout the community that we will not have this opportunity um, for at least a decade. So thank you very much for your patience.